Hi guys, this is Mike. I just wanted to go over a couple of the tabs and the features in the SAT. By now you should have it configured on a network and connected to uh, the IP address that is different from the default one. If you haven't done that yet, here in the network tab is where you click the refresh, you pick the Wi-Fi network and you set all of that up. In the control tab is where you can manually enter an azimuth or elevation and hit go and your rotator will go there. The ready and park are two settings that you can preset your rotator controller to store in memory so that you can use them uh, in a quick um, instance. So if you like to point your antennas to the south when you go to sleep, you can hit the park button once you've set it up and they'll turn to the south and stow themselves. Uh, the ready position might be somewhere in uh, the middle of the uh, azimuth and elevation so that it can go either direction. In the TLE tab, this here is where you would update your TLEs. Uh, you can add your own file. You can set it to auto update and the ground track is the map and it'll show you uh, the path of the satellite up here in, in the map. In the rotator settings, this is where you would pick the rotator that you're using. You would set your minimums and maximums. You could also see the volts uh, that your rotator is putting out. Um, after you make all your final adjustments, make sure that you hit the save uh, settings and then you can close that one out. Uh, we already went over the network tab. Uh, radio, make sure that you set it up to your ICOM or um, ICOM radio, your correct uh, baud rate, your correct address. For the 9700, it should be main up, sub down. Uh, the update interval is 1500 milliseconds and save the data to the radio. Your location, put your call sign, put your grid square, and make sure that you put your time zone offset. And make sure that you hit save. Log is a new feature that we've added. You can uh, put the call sign of the station you're working, his grid square and a comment. You can add it to the log entry. And at the end of the day, you can download the log to either upload it to Logbook of the World or put it into your permanent logbook. Uh, this is not a permanent logbook. It only holds about 110 entries and uh, then it will be full. At the end, after you've uh, downloaded it, you can delete the logs out of this uh, and start again. And in your about tab, we'll tell you what firmware you're running, your serial number, our website, uh, the change log, which is very important. If you click on there, you can see what upcoming changes and make the determination if you would like to do a firmware update or if you're happy with uh, what you have now. In the view all tab, this here is where you pick the satellites that you use most of the time. By checking that box, that will give you all of the information uh, that you need when you hit future. So click on the satellites that you can work from your area, make sure you save it and then close it. And then when you come over here and hit the future, only those satellites will show as future passes and give you all of the uh, information. If you click on RS44, it will load it into the active satellite and your antenna will get ready to either track or if it is up it will start it will track uh, immediately and then all you have to do is pick what mode you want to work so we would go to this one if you want to work the uh, VHF UHF uh, voice and your radio should be flipping and the Doppler should be changing uh, once the uh, satellite starts to come over the horizon, uh, you should start to hear things. 
uh, at this point to find yourself, you would use the RIT feature in the, on the radio. Once you're done, this will clear itself, or if you want to stop in the middle, you can hit the, uh, the stop button. You can also search for something manually uh, by either the catalog number or the name. So if we put ISS and do a search, it will load in the ISS with all the proper information. Right now, I'm getting zero here for the antenna position because I don't have an antenna or radio hooked up uh, at this time. So right now, the um, you have the uh, information for the, for the space station and when, when it's gonna be coming back uh, up again. The continuous button is if you want to keep tracking the space station every time it comes over, uh, maybe you wanna do the slow scan TV and you're not gonna be home, you can leave everything on, hit the continuous button and it will track itself every time the, the pass comes over. That was just a quick uh, tutorial. Hopefully uh, it helps. If you have any questions, you can always email us or hit us up on the Facebook page. Thanks very much.